Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This time, we will have our LUT review on the mathematics in the new curriculum. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you always get update of my uploads. So we are now in the continuation, our next LUT review under the mathematics new curriculum. So we are going to review some basic topics in mathematics. So this may help you in the upcoming LET board examination. So this is again mathematics new curriculum LET review. So we have here number one, question number one. What property of real numbers states that the order of the addends or factor does not affect the sum or product? So, letter A, commutative property. B, associative property. C, distributive property. D, identity property. So, since we have there uh, Commutative property, the standard form there, the order of the factors or addends. So, A plus B, the order, is equal to B plus A. So, the order of the addends does not affect the sum or the product. It can be A times B is equal to B times A. Okay, so the answer letter a commutative property question number two simplify the absolute value of negative 27 minus 3 times 4 minus the absolute value of negative 36 plus the absolute value of negative 12 so in this time you are going to simplify first inside the absolute value sign so negative 27 minus 3 times 4 is minus 12 but still with the absolute value sign minus the absolute value of negative 36 is positive 36 plus the absolute value of negative 12 is positive 12. So negative 27, when you subtract, change the sign of the subtrahend. So this will become negative 12. Since you subtract negative 27 minus 12. So negative 27 plus negative 12 and then we still have absolute value so minus 36 plus 12 so negative 27 plus negative 30 negative 12 is negative 39 so get the absolute value positive 39 39 minus 36 plus 12 39 minus 36 is 3. So from left to right. And then solve first inside the parentheses. 3 plus 12, the answer is 15. So the answer is letter C. 15. Number 3. What property illustrated below? The quantity 1 half plus 1 fourth plus the negative 1 fourth is equal to one half plus the quantity one fourth plus the quantity negative one fourth so as we observe here the groupings you change the groupings from this is your a this is your b and this is your c so from a b you regroup into b c so here c a b you group AB and then added to C. So in the right side, uh, A and then added to the groupings of B plus C. So since this is groupings, this is associative property. So letter A is the answer, associative property. Question number four. The additive inverse of negative three is... As we all know, additive inverse, the additive inverse of negative A is equal to additive inverse. We have from negative, the himo siyang positive. And that is additive inverse. Inverse of 
addition is subtraction. So since this is negative 3, so the answer is 3. That is the additive inverse. If this is multiplicative inverse, that is that is reciprocal. So here, the answer is letter A, 3, additive inverse. Question number 5. 7... 71 and 21 ten thousands. 71 and 21 ten thousands. You are going to write in standard form. So ten thousands. So from here, after the decimal point, is you start with tens, tens and red, hundreds, and then thousands, and then ten thousands. So since 21 10, 000, 21 10 thousands, so this one, 71 and for the decimal point, then tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, 21 10 thousand. So the answer is letter, letter B. Question number six, simplify or solve. 2 minus the quantity 3 plus 4 times the quantity 5 minus 3 plus 7 added to 8. So this time you are going to simplify first inside the bracket or inside the parenthesis. So 4, since this is enclosed in a parenthesis, you may solve first this one. 5 minus 3 is 2 plus 7. Then you still have the bracket. So simplify 2 minus, we have 3. 3 plus 4 times 2 is 8 plus 7 added to, added to 8. So inner first, inner part. So this is 2 minus. 8, 3 plus 8, 11, plus 7 is 18, and then plus 8. 2 minus 18, what is 2 minus 18? 16, 16, negative 16, negative 16 plus 8, the answer is negative 8. So the answer is negative 8, letter C. Next, the letters A, B, C, D have numerical values 1 or the counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. What is the sum of the letters in the word David? You have the word David. So you're going to represent. We have A, B, C, D. So 4. For A, we have 1. For B, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. V is 22. I, we have here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I is 9. Added to 4. So, add 4 plus 1 plus 22 plus 9 plus 4 okay and the answer is letter b 40 that is 40 4 plus 1 5 plus 22 plus 9 plus 4 the answer is 40 b question number eight which of the following is the greatest so you are going to divide so what is the greatest here 1 over 10 Point 0.1 over point 0.10 1 divided by point zero 0.01 or 1 over point zero zero 0.001 1 over 10 what is 1 divide 10 that is point 0.1 this is point 0.1 and then point 0.1 divide point 0.10 this is 1 this is 0 0.1 and this is 1 what about 1 divided by 0 0.01? Okay, 100. This is 100. And then 1 divided by 0 0.001 is 1,000. So the greatest is 1,000. Next, 
Question number nine, find the prime factorization of 120. What are the prime factors? Those numbers which cannot be factored already, that's a prime. The factors are prime number. Like the only even prime factor is two. So two and then prime numbers, we have three. One is neither prime nor composite. Three and then the next is five. So you are looking for the prime factors of 120. So how you're going to find that one or you may make a tree diagram divide 120 by 2 so we have there 120 when you divide at 1 by 2 that is 60 60 and then factor 60 divide 10 that is 6 and 10 you can solve like this. So, 6 is 3 times 2. And 10 is 5 times 5 times 2. So, we have 2, 1, 2, 3. So, 2 to the power of 3. And then another factor is 3. And another prime 5. So, the answer. 2 to the power of 3 times 3 times 5. So the answer is letter D. Another, which of the following is divisible by 3? So we all know that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. So when you get the sum here, we have 8 plus 5 plus 5 plus 1. We have 19. So it's not divisible by 3. Then we have 8 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1, 17. It's not also divisible by 3. Cannot be divided by 3. Another 5 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1. We have 16. And 16 cannot be exactly divisible by 3. Another is 5 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. The answer is 18 and 18 is divisible by divide 3 is 6 when you divide by 3 the answer is exactly 6 so the answer is so get the sum of the unit digit sum of the digits here sum of the digits 5 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 the answer is 18 divided by 3 is exactly 6 so the answer is letter D. Okay, that's all for this uh, review on the new mathematics curriculum. Please watch my upcoming uploads on the continuation of the new mathematics curriculum. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Please also watch my video about research, statistics, and calculus.